Hey guys, Leif here. This time, I'm going to show you how to make an enemy or an actor or whatever spawn a certain distance away from your player character. In this case, it'll be in front, about 500 centimeters. There you go. It spawned in front of me. Now, let's show you the blueprint. Okay. The main node that's extremely important is the spawn actor node. For the class, we used our example actor class. I set the collision handling override to try to adjust location, but always spawn. And the most important part is our spawn transform. To do this, I use a make transform. I set its scale values to one because we want it to be at its default scale. It can be changed to whatever you like if it suits your needs, of course. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. To get its location, We want to offset its location based on where our player is. To do that, we first get our player character, and then we get its actor location, which gives us a vector. Now to offset it, we get the player we use the get player pawn node, feed that into a get control rotation. With the get control rotation, we're going to feed that into the yaw, because we don't care about the pitch or the roll. All we care about is which direction are we looking on the yaw. So we use a vector for enemy location offset, basically. In this case, it's 500. If you want it behind your character. You could set that to negative 500x. X, the x value will affect the in front and behind the character. The y value to the left, to the right, and the z value will put it up or above or below. But for our purposes, we only care about x. We rotate that vector by that control rotation that we got from the pawn. That way, it'll always be in relation to what direction we're facing. We add that to the actor location that we got, and we feed that into the make transform. And we also hook up that rotation as well to its, to the make transform as well. And then going forward, Things get a little complicated here. In this case, I do a line trace. I'm going to do a line trace by channel. From the actor location of the new actor we just spawned to negative 200 below, to negative 200 below the actor we just spawned. Then using break hit, we get that location. This will get us our ground plane. We only care about the Z value. We use the get actor location of our new actor that we just created as well. We take its X and Y values, and we use a make vector node to combine the Z of the ground with the X and Y of the current actor location. And we plug that into a set actor location, which comes after the line trace and after we spawn it. And that's how the character ends up sitting perfectly on the ground plane. I hope you found this interesting.
informative, and useful. And thanks for watching.